Jack, welcome to Hibernian. Proud day? Very much so. I think um, I think whenever you get the opportunity to manage a football club, um, you're excited about it if you've been steeped in football and you and it's your profession. But then I think when you get the opportunity to manage a, a club with the history and tradition that Hibs has um, and the potential that it has as well makes it um, yeah hugely exciting and, and and you know hopefully that that feeling of pride will, will extend um, for a considerable period from today. You've had to fight off a, a few strong candidates, but the the flip side is you've come out on top in a very thorough interview process. Can you can you talk us through that from your end? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a demanding uh, week, or last ten days in terms of. I think what you have to go through to, to earn the right to, to have this opportunity that I have now, um, they're probably a lot different to what people imagine. Um, even I think nowadays, even, even if you are, and I'm not saying I was identified as a, as a person that a club would want, I think it's certainly at this football club it's very different from just having a conversation and being offered the job. I think you have to prove that you have the necessary credentials and, and want to come to a club for the right reasons. Uh, Improve that, and you know, I had to do that through various means with Graham and Leanne, met the owner as well, um, enjoyed them, got a very good feeling for them, and I think that helped me get a greater feeling for the football club as well. You know, in truth, my, my feeling for the club will only start to build from today onwards, but but certainly the work involved in, in trying to prove I was the right person for the job was very thorough. Off camera, Leanne and Graham, without breaking too many confidences, they both said it seemed like a really natural fit from the, the first meeting. I take it that's how you saw it. Yeah, I mean, I learned probably, a lot of still a relatively young manager, you know, managed now almost 200 games and had a lot of varying experiences in the last few years in terms of the size of the club I've managed, but I was given some good early advice about putting a lot of stock into the people that you're going to work for and, and with at senior management level and the importance of those relationships. And certainly from the first conversations I had with Graham and Leanne, I, I felt like it would be a good fit. Um, and the relationships would be one that would get stronger as time goes on. So, um, yeah, I mean, that makes it makes the decision to accept the position obviously a lot easier as well because I had obviously only just came out of another job. I think you have a period where you're taking stock and thinking what's the next best fit for you. And um, I think very fortunate to get this opportunity so quickly, but also very fortunate that it seems like such a good fit as well. How was your chat with Ron? Because you're obviously the first appointment on his watch. Enjoyable. Um, a lot of energy in terms of the discussion that we had. I think he's, I think what he has is a very obvious excitement and enthusiasm for um, for his involvement with the football club. I think he has a a real obvious desire to try and move the club forward in all aspects of it. And, and naturally, for me, it's about helping do that by what I can provide in terms of on pitch performances and results. But again, from from the initial discussions I had with him, very much enjoyed it, and you know, I look forward to. You know, having that discussion follow him, I think when he's back next month again as well. Dan and the chef soup here is the stuff a legend, but that said, what attracted you to the club? <laughs> I think I think like I touched on earlier, I think that um, the history and tradition, the size of the club, um, but the potential of the club as well. I think it's very obvious to say that in terms of where we find ourselves currently, there's a there's a very short term potential and ambition to get out of that situation and climb the table. But beyond that, it's about wanting to stay here for as long as I can and, and be involved in creating some sort of legacy as well. I think you have to come in with that ambition as a manager to to create a little bit of history with the club. And certainly, I feel as if I'm coming into a football club that has has more than a realistic potential and possibility of doing that. Did you speak to any familiar faces? I mean, you obviously know, you know the club, you know the Scottish game inside out, but did you call anybody up for advice? Did you seek anyone out? No, I think you. I think over the last probably not just the last four or five weeks after I left Sunderland, but I think um, you continue to have dialogue and communication with people. Certainly in that period where I came out about looking at what I did next, etc. As well, you, I think you put your trust in the communication you have with perhaps other managers and other people within the game. And um, the one thing that probably made this position so appealing in terms of wanting to be considered for it and, and trying so hard to get the job was that. It just, I think there's so many things at the football club that are in alignment with how I think and how I do things and how I manage. And that's unusual as well. Um, again, I've had different experiences where I feel as if I'm having to come in and, 
and start from scratch almost. Um, whereas even this morning, my first experience of being in and around the training ground, but there's yeah, there's, right away you see there's a little bit she would do differently. Of course you would, and you want to improve upon. But there's also a lot of things that I feel as if run in that alignment and are akin to how I think, and that makes you feel at ease. I think very quickly. It must be a, a bonus that you know you, you'll know the vast majority of the squad already. You've you've worked with Stevie Mallon before, for example. About what's your, your fondest memories of him, or uh, how will he react? Yeah, I, I think that I think first and foremost, I, I know a good percentage of the players played against some of them. Um, I've obviously coached Stevie and Jason A. Smith, who's here on loan at the moment. So, and then over the last couple of days, tried to familiarise myself with the rest of the squad, but that will come from when I start looking on the grass with them tomorrow as well. But no, I think Stevie, um, I mean, Stevie played a significant part in, in um, some months staying in the league when I first went to the club and his contribution that second half of the season in terms of goals and assists was terrific. He's a player of a very obvious natural ability and I think we managed to get the best out of him um, for that period we worked with him and, and hopefully we can do the same not only with him but obviously with, with the rest of the squad over the coming months and seasons as well. Supporters always want to know about style of play, how you're going to set your stall out. Do you have a, an ideal that you want to aspire to or is it ca a case of finding the, the system that gets the, the best out of what you've got or a bit of both? No, I think very much the latter for me. I think it's about um, getting to understand the attributes and the strengths that the players have. And as I said, as much as you can judge that on your own experiences of them or, or on paper, you don't really do it truly until you're working with them every single day. And um, So that's a starting point from us. Um, I think that We've put a lot of stock, or I do a lot of stock on the training pitch in terms of how we play in the final third and how positive we are in that area of the park. And um, there'll be, you know, when you're coming in mid-season as well, there'll be small steps in terms of trying to implement new ideas to the players. But it's very much getting a handle on what you have within the group at the moment and making sure you can find the best possible way of getting the best from them. And, and if you do that, you should give yourself a really good opportunity to winning games on a regular basis. We all remember your success at Alloa and St Mirren, but. You must have learned as much, if not more, going down to Sunderland, a club that's had a, a challenge in a few years. I mean, the, in terms of experience, um, incredible. The challenge of managing a, a club, a huge, huge club, um, in very demanding circumstances. Like I mentioned earlier about feeling as I'm coming to a club that isn't is in a good place and um, is stable and has that platform to move forward. I, I took a job that was, was in very different circumstances. Had some terrific memories in terms of some some of the things we achieved and leading team at Wembley twice was something that I'll always look back on with pride. But um, I think overall, you want to come away from one job and feel as if you're a better manager than when you went into it. And I certainly feel that. You know, I certainly feel as if the experiences of the manager Sunderland for the last 16, 17 months have, have made me a better manager, a better coach. Um, you know, hopefully I'll show that in my time here as well. You weren't out the game for long. Were you itching to get back in or were you glad of a break? <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I genuinely felt even in the days after leaving Sunderland that I could go back to work right away. Um, I enjoy working. Um, I've kind of worked. I've never really had spells out of work for very long, whether it had been football or outside football. So it was a strange situation to find myself not doing anything. People at the time did say to me to make the most of it. I probably didn't, and now I'm back into work really quickly. So um, not delighted to do so. Um, said to, did use the time. You know, it was only four and a bit weeks, but I did use it for a little bit of reflection and and things that I could have done differently and things that I could improve on again and, and you know, hopefully I'll use that in my time here as well. What did the short, mid, long-term targets look like for us? Well, I think short-term is, is, again, quite a very obvious one in, in terms of winning games consistently. Um, and if you do that, then your position in the league table becomes much healthier and much more positive. If you do that between now and the end of the year, even it gives a platform for a, for a more positive second half of the season. I think longer term for me, the, the aim is to make sure the club is always challenging in that top three or four positions in the league and, and with that becomes obviously the opportunity for European football etc. I think the domestic cups always offer Hibs a chance at success and silverware and that's another ambition for us as well. So I think it's just to do that consistently. I think the club has done that in recent years and done it successfully. It's just making sure we do it on a consistent basis because if you get that consistency in then it gives you that platform to to perhaps push on even further as well. You kick off for the home game against Motherwell on, on Saturday. What would your message be to the supporters? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to it. It's a stadium I know well in terms of opposition position player or, or manager or coach, but I think um, the pride I'll feel at leading the Hibs team in the stadium for the first time will be immense. I think the fans will be excited to come back and see a team on the back of 
the last time they were out, obviously the extended break has lost, hopefully hasn't lost any momentum from that. But I think that I think like any new beginning, you want people to buy into that and bring an enthusiasm to it. If supporters can bring that enthusiasm and excitement to it, then it's up to me to produce a team that will that will match that and, and replicate how they feel about the club from the stands on the pitch. And if you can do that, then it gives us a really good starting point.